Good morning. I hope that your vacation was all right. Lately, a lot of things have happened in the Foundation. Several problems have appeared. I will list the most important ones briefly. A containment breach occurred in Site 8, and the outpost was lost. We managed to recover most of the lost objects and save some of the personnel. Exact data can be found in the provided documents. That containment breach occurred due to a lack of communication between the research personnel and the personnel responsible for the containment chamber of one of the objects. The supervisor of the research project took the day off due to the fact that he needed to see the doctor, and the surveilling of the object was suspended for that time. Management of that containment room hadn't issued any permission to move the object before the end of surveilling though, claiming that it was caused by a system's cleanup process and bureaucracy. Before the new containment room can be prepared, the object managed to break free and cause significant damage, enough to other objects' containment rooms, which caused a chain reaction. The project manager refuses to admit that it's his fault. A walkout of agents occurred at Area 17, which paralyzed a significant part of the site. It was caused by too low wages and inadequate hazard pay. The agents demand higher benefits, more flexible work hours, and better conditions. Additionally, they demand the return of the travel compensation. They have threatened to barricade the entrance, set up a tent camp in front of the site, and impede work. I'd like to point out that it would probably lead to the exposure of Area 17 and the necessity for a media disinformation campaign. The Department of Internal Affairs have arrested Dr. Kosminski, who classified the anonymous objects as Keter class. He did this after receiving a bribe from Level 4 personnel. Currently, 13 employees connected to that incident have been found. Thanks to the reclassification of these objects and the creation of fictional special containment procedures, employees in charge of containing these artifacts were receiving higher wages. That practice became clear when one of the researchers took a notice that, I quote, That freaking pencil just doesn't run our scripper. I spent 12 freaking days on it and I didn't notice it sending anyone to any other dimension. Someone is screwing around. The planned Operation Sanctuary ended in a failure. We couldn't contain the entity. The MDF Vigo destined to seize it, probably due to road conditions, fell off of it and crashed into a tree. Three members of the formation suffered serious injuries. The driver died. The Vigo turned out to be incapable of driving further, and a helicopter was called. Its crew got caught by surprise by bad weather. Eventually, transport of the remaining MTFs have carried out by local police, but due to the danger and secrecy of the Foundation, the squad had to walk the last two kilometers to the entity. Due to the time lost, the object changed its position by 168 kilometers, and then the signal was lost. Tracking of the entity was initiated. The penalties for a few of these criminals, initially condemned to death, are now coming to an end. These death penalties were changed to 25 years of prison. Exact characteristics of these prisoners were included in the transfer documents. The problem, they were recruited by the Foundation years ago. D-1783 was shot to death when he tried to escape. D-3297 was teleported to the moon. D-2140 died due to contact with one of the objects. D-8363's termination occurred because of its extreme depression caused by contact with one of the objects. And D-2489's termination was issued because of an infection. Usage of clones is been considered in case legislative intervention should fail. One of our friends, a company called 
support central metric Peregrine has gone bankrupt due to nearly zero sales. It turned out that people weren't interested in said food. An incident concerning the quality of the exported meat was also a major contribution factor. Along with that bankruptcy, two new problems have appeared. A new front company and a new way of disposing the bodies of D-class personnel is required. The Ethics Committee has asked to be moved across from Sector 2's mess hall, citing circular policy and the risk of offending the feelings of personnel. The complete document is included among the transfer documents. I'll quote a small fragment from it. Above all things, the Foundation needs a good internal cooperation, and this depends on trust, common help, and mutual care. We cannot foster these virtues and we risk offending our co-workers. The Foundation is a serious institution which deals with the fate of the world. It must not waste its precious time on such foolish trivialities as religion. The Department of Internal Affairs has noted an extreme dissatisfaction and irritation caused by committee actions. During the transport of the resource and building materials necessary for the proper functioning of Sector 5, a theft by unknown culprits occurred due to a number of traces and documents. That incident isn't considered to be caused by a hostile group. The value of the stolen materials is estimated to be about 10,000 zloty. It is the third similar incident this month. An entrapment operation to catch the culprit is being considered. Due to an increase of the foundation budget, we are seeing market fluctuations that can, in extreme cases, lead to a repetition of incident raising vote. Other possible scenarios include galloping inflation and a stock market crash, cessation of local funding, an influx of foreign capital in foundation activity and reduction of salaries or terminations of employment is recommended. The Department of Technical Affairs would like to alert us about the critically bad condition of certain sites. Immediate renovations are required. It is also calling on us to stop trying to save money on material purchase, claiming that cheaper doesn't mean cheaper. A lot of catacontainment chambers shouldn't be approved for usage. And finally, hanging a plate with an inscription reading, Warning, Kedda, doesn't anonymously transform a closet into a safe. Yes, that's all of the most significant events from last month. What actions should we take? Give amnestics to everyone who knows about my return. I'm going back to the seaside. I really don't recommend it. A Kedda from Research Site 8 is on the loose here. Why has nobody caught it? It's pointless. Currently, there isn't a proper place to contain it in any site. I have a different request then. Contact the English branch, announce my arrival, and buy me a plane ticket, preferably for today.